making things makes me happy. Keep myself from getting bored. Smoothed out my thimble. I need to get the shelter done. Man, this is coming out awesome. But when you're out here by yourself, think about family, how much they mean to you. The pull on my heart to be with them is so hard that I can't give up. Not while I still have strength in me. everyone I'm watching this uh, um, history channel um, alone series and I showed you the uh, what the winner said uh, this year winner was a uh, Zach uh, Fowler um, he's a creative guy and he lives in a yurt and a big you know this like for that uh, there was also uh, you know this very creative uh, girl uh, miss <laughs> woman female <laughs> um, named Carrie so uh, her uh, desire was to buy the land she is living on and uh, you know this Having her own land is, seems to be, you know, this uh, uh, what she, you know, this deserves, and uh, I hope, you know, this you people will support her, something like that. So um, yeah, let's, you know, this talk about this. Um, staying alone in a a mountain in a, some meditation place, etc., etc. Is important for a, uh, for a two religions. One is the Buddhism, who uh, which claims uh, of uh, some kind of enlightenment. Uh, the uh, other one is the shamanism, uh, so called the dark religion, the dark side, something like that. So uh, both Lama and shaman goes to into this. Uh, in this into this wild wilderness something like that the reason why Lama goes to this uh, wilderness and stuff it is because uh, he should uh, imitate the uh, the way of a Buddha Buddha went and sat down on a you know this in the bottom of a tree and meditated or something like that so uh, Lama went to the countryside, found a cave and meditated there and something like that. But in the case of a shaman, um, he needs to uh, get connected with the land, something like that. So uh, he needs to stay in the mountains for some time and uh, try to know the f flow of time and you know, those what's in there and etc. etc. And when do you know this uh, think that uh, they should return to the community and stuff a shaman will return to his family a lama also returns to his family but um, according to you know this Bodhita uh, Bodhita did not return to his family uh, Bodhita is a different guy compared to this uh, this normal common human being and they are saying that a family is uh, matters so much for them so uh, you know this I must think about them I, I must you know this I must win and something like that of course uh, you know this money motivates their you know this efforts to win and stuff 
and uh, you will notice that after uh, like uh, 70 days uh, you are like uh, very skinny uh, you are you are at this point where you uh, about to damage your organs in your organs uh, it's even possible to damage your brain something like that and I wonder uh, how much you know this damage did the Bodhisattva cost to himself and uh, went you know this nuts so, <laughs> something like that so um, Bodhisattva reached some state of a peaceful mind called enlightenment something like that so uh, he asked men usually only men to come to him and share this uh, great experience <laughs> enlightened experience something like that and some men came and you know this um, uh, listened to his talk and some men went back to their wives something like that so Bodhita did say something bad about these men uh, worthless men it is better uh, for you know this uh, for them to put their penis into a mouth of a snake than a, in a in a vagina something like that so he is cursing these uh, men who went back to their wives as a uh, weak man and etc etc so Bodhita is someone who hates you know this sex he is in he became an asexual, something like that. Uh, there are those who hate men, uh, you know, this very strong feminists and you know this stuff. And there are those men who hate women. Uh, uh, it's not a rapist. It's just a, a, you know, this, uh, some kind of a psychopathic murderers that pick women only and uh, kill. Don't rape, just kill, something like that. So there, there are those, you know, these um, psychopaths or you know, these mentally ill people. Uh, it seemed, you know, this uh, Bodhita was a little bit, you know, this mentally ill. It's not, you know, this normal human being. He, he doesn't, you know, this show the character of a normal man. So. Um, I cannot leave my wife and kid, uh, you know, this for uh, greater stuff like uh, saving my soul or uh, attaining uh, immortality or some kind of in enlightenment, something like that. Um, it's uh, it feels like you know this very selfish, you know this. I want to save myself. I need to leave my wife and kid here. I need to go to this uh, great, you know, this light, something like that. This is uh, very horrible and selfish. And uh, let's, you know, this quote Bodhita, and um, he said, "Work out your own salvation. Do not depend on others." Uh, there is a question: Why? Why I must travel alone? Uh, he's saying, uh, no one saves us but ourselves. No one can, no one may. We ourselves must walk the path, something like that. So the path for Bodhita was an um, easy one because um, he knew that his wife and kids were in a palace in a luxurious life and he wanted to go uh, and save those who are in you know the, in the shambles in this uh, suffering circle those who are you know this bottom class and something like that uh, in this uh, in this sense uh, what that seems to be an sjw social justice warrior <laughs> type guy you know this i must save the oppressed and you know this weak and uh, there is no such thing as a class there is no such thing as you know this makeup tattoos and you know this social 
um, you know, this uh, caste, and I will fight this Brahman religion, uh, Hinduism, something else, <laughs> etc., etc. So, um, he wanted to create a society with no class, uh, no gender, you know, this, uh, he's an asexual, so there is no such thing as a male, female gender, there is a, just a human being, something like that. So, he is, you know, this somewhat mad. Um, real, in reality, there is a man and a woman, that's all. So, um, those uh, who stayed in this dark, in this, you know, this, in their reality are called the dark side, something like that. And shamanism is also called as a, the dark side, not the enlightenment side, something like that. So, for a, um, a guy from a dark side, uh, there is something called Zaya. Here in Mongolia, Zaya is the fortune. Zaya is um, good luck, something like that. But it's a Sanskrit word, uh, Jaya. Jaya is the victory, same time a wife. So, a uh, human being, uh, you know this, the dark man has uh, following dayas, following fortunes. Number one, to be born as a human being. And it's divided into uh, two parts, uh, female zaya or men zaya. Or you are born as a girl or you are born as a boy. Uh, this is uh, greatly influ influences your future, something like that. The second Zaya is that you did not die as a, in, in the childhood, you managed to reach the adulthood. So you have a Zaya of reaching the adulthood. Uh, second, uh, third Zaya is that uh, you managed to find, found the mate and you married. So, um, Gilbud uh, in this forming a family Zaya. And um, let's you know this continue the very quickly. Have a kid, uh, see your uh, kid's kid, and uh, end your life without you know this big pain, something like that. This is the you know this the circle of uh, real or decent life, something like that. So notice that all these uh, things are called a wife. So there is a wife to be born, there is a wife to be reach adulthood, there is a wife to maybe marry, there is a wife to be have a kid, etc. etc. So um, here in Mongolia, uh, a lama has no right to demand uh, the behavior of a wife. Wife should be like this, etc., etc. They do not have such, you know, this right. They do not have uh, right to teach how to uh, raise their kids, and etc., etc. But a common man, or the wise man, or the man from the dark side, have nine demands for their, you know, this for their daya, for their wives. Something like that. So um, these things goes in a couple, couple, something like that. So um, wife needs to be supportive of uh, her husband. It's a very important number one, I think. Um, my wife is not supportive of my YouTube, you know, these uh, videos and uh, in other stuff. She is very, you know, this supportive. And especially, woman needs to be supportive of, you know, this uh, emotionally. You know, this when man is satisfied emotionally, he is a strong, he is a confident man. He is willing to go there and uh, make a big, you know, this money. <laughs> so um, this loving, caring wife should be respectful towards the parent-in-law. This is one of the, you know, these popular demands of man that you at least respect my parents, something like that. This is a mm, habit of an Asian man, 
Yeah. Um, I don't see nothing wrong with that. And um, if you have, you know, this problem with that, I would like to show you a music video of uh, Robbie Williams in the description or in the comments below. So um, she needs to be caring. Uh, woman that can uh, in this, uh, take care of children is uh, very important and she needs to learn that skill uh, from childhood I think if she has you know this little brother and sisters and uh, she tend to be very caring so uh, in my opinion um, the eldest in the family the eldest girl in the family is the most caring the less caring one is the youngest one the youngest one wants to take everything and you know she may be some kind of you know this um, special uh, demandful child but uh, usually the eldest um, girls in the family is the ones that are the most caring uh, ones are most uh, with you know this somewhat you know this um, adult you know this uh, mind and stuff so when you are choosing a girl uh, me you should know that if she's uh, in this the uh, eldest or the, she's the middle or she's the youngest in the family so it's better to choose the middle or you know this the eldest in the family it's just my opinion uh, you should you know this should not you know this follow your my you know this some opinions something like that so um, she needs to be clean man demands that woman should be clean she needs to be like you know, clean and uh, should smell in you know, this better and something like that this uh, uh, in this uh, man should be clean doesn't exist you know this uh, uh, of course women can demand that uh, you know that you should go and wash your feet and you know, be clean something like that but it's a it's a general demand for uh, girls and women they need to be clean um, speaking of clean uh, this is very uh, this is some kind of you know this bizarre you know this um, demand uh, they should be color clear or faithful to the color something like that they must not dress in you know this uh, very colorful stuff they must not you know this dye their hair like this uh, uh, crazy you know this uh, feminists or they must not act like a clowns they sh uh, they should have some sense of beauty and fashion and uh, no uh, men usually do not like when women is like very colorful and you know, flashy and all kinds of you know these rings and all everywhere something like that and she needs to be uh, crafting she needs to have some crafting skills this is very important for uh, you know, for our culture because man is out there you know this doing their business and woman is shoeing the clothes and making uh, shoes and you know these carpets and all kinds of you know this crafting stuff so this crafting stuff is also applied to a man. Man should ha you should learn uh, you know this crafting skills. It can be anything, and I try to be you know this artistic and same time you know this um, experiment with my you know this crafting skills and stuff. This is the best I can at this point. So. Uh, she needs to, you know, this. Uh, she needs to say good words. Uh, cursing like "fuck you," "faggot," uh, "you're a shit," and something like that. You know, this this bad, foul mouth is not a feminine stuff. It's more of a man stuff. Men usually curse. Men usually do this tough talking, but it's not a woman stuff. Woman should uh, look. Mm, what she's saying and she needs to choose the right words and she must not curse so she needs to be yurulte, a good you know these words and stuff and lastly um, not not lastly she needs to be uh, artistic 
man loves artistic woman and especially the demand is she should be able to sing a song it's used in, in this caring after child she needs to uh, be able to sing a lullaby I know to sleep my child <laughs> so and uh, as a man I know um, it is great if uh, you know, this, when you're like lying down on this uh, you know this bed or you know this on couch and when you know this she's naked and she's doing some you know this small dance in front of you this is you know this this is great this is what you know this man want so uh, she needs to be somewhat you know this artistic and um, a woman who is not into her music and you know this all you know this art and stuff she's kind of you know this dry so she needs to uh, at least know one two song and she should be able to sing them something like that and lastly she needs to be charitable I guess this is a somewhat you know this religious uh, demand she needs to be charitable uh, in my opinion a wife uh, must not be so super you know this charitable she must not you know this allow everyone to come to and you know this give them food and stuff or she is going uh, to a, some kind of church and spending the money on uh, what the you know, husband bring on you know this on all kinds of you know this uh, charity and stuff sometimes I think you know this um, she's burning this uh, juniper and stuff is like useless <laughs> I'm here and she's like going to a monastery and buying some juniper and uh, burning it for good fortune and stuff she's better you know this be worshiping to me, not you know, this. <laughs> well, uh, that's what I wanted to uh, you know this uh, talk today. And um, for a man of the dark side, it's uh, it's better to stay with your Zaya, the victory, wife, fortune, and zero zero, not the uh, you know this this podcast, you know this enlightenment. So, uh, yeah, lastly, um, do you understand this uh, quote from the Buddha? No one saves us but ourselves. No one can and no one may. What is he talking about? It's, you know, this, uh, if he's talking about, you know, this real life, it's not truth. If he's talking about uh, when we die and we, when we are trying to save our souls uh, we are, when we are completely alone this maybe uh, has some you know this value but this quote doesn't have any real life value for example the winner of this uh, alone series Zach um, has this staff you will notice that this staff has a lot of fish he, he says that I described all the fish that I have in this cut on my, you know, this stuff. So you will notice that there is so many fish. So he ate so many fish and this so many fish um, saved him from the starving. So I don't know how many sheep and, you know, this uh, cows and, you know, this goats I did eight to uh, save myself from uh, starving to continue my you know this life journey something like that so the sacrifices of others saves us and um, i don't know who built this apartment that you know, saves me from this cold and uh, you know this uh, this is it you know this gift from my japanese japanese friend and this saves me from a, you know, this bad look behind the camera, something like that. So in our real life, we tend to save each other somehow. And you know, this, the flesh of uh, plants and animals usually saves us. So life is all about saving, you know, saving. But Buddha says no one can, 
no one me. That's kind of sad and that's kind of, you know, this wrong. Uh, in the case of, you know, this saving one's soul, uh, we are, you know, this, I guess we are alone. But um, some people can, you know, this put uh, stuff in our graves, weapons, you know, these dishes and stuff. Hoping that uh, you know this, this will save our soul, or put a flower that symbolizes the uh, goodness and immortality on our graves to wish for the immortality. Well, uh, that's uh, pretty much for today, and uh, thanks for watching.